Hi, my name is Benjamin Cohen. And I'm Jacob Cooperman. And our project is The Plant Buddy. The Plant Buddy is a small part of the solution to one of the biggest issues facing not only the world, but California today. Over the past two years, California has experienced one of its worst droughts in history, up to the point where our governor has announced forced water restrictions. And one of the main reasons for this drought, and one of the main problems with fixing it, is that in a lot of places, there's a lot of overwatering of, of house plants, of yards, and that's and a lot of that's because the current automatic plant watering systems are generally based on timing. So every three days, every one day, your your yard gets watered, your house plants get watered, but in a lot of cases, that's not strictly speaking necessary. Your plant doesn't doesn't need water every few days. Your plant needs water whenever its soil is dry, whenever its roots aren't getting the necessary nutrients, and to solve that problem, our plant body, the plant body looks not at the time, but instead at the moisture level, level of the soil. So the way that this works is um, we have the center of the project right here, which is in Arduino Uno board with an uh, Arduino shield on top of it. And this is the moisture sensor. This is a probe that's placed inside the soil of the plant, and it takes a numerical reading of the wetness or dryness of the plant's soil. And this data goes into the board, which then decides if it's dry, it should pump water through this pump. And if it's uh, wet, it will stop pumping water because there's no more need because there's already water in the soil. And the whole project fits into this 3D printed um, component right here. It has holes specially placed for the wires, for the pump, and also for the battery power. Here, this is the reservoir we're using to hold the water. The pump is going to be in here, and this is where the water is going to come from to go to the plant. So it's up to the owner to fill this, but this could be put into the traditional water supply of the home. This is also not only for house plants. This can be uh, in implemented on a larger scale to be uh, farmers or just agricultural applications. Notice how the pump only pumps when the moisture sensor is out of the water when we'd be sending a dry signal to the Arduino. One of the main issues we faced with this project is that we initially wanted users to be able to choose what moisture level they wanted their plants to be watered at, because obviously desert plants need less water than tropical plants, and then there are plants in the middle that need just an average amount of water. And the way we would do that is we would allow the user to choose different options using an LCD screen with a keypad like this. But unfortunately, we were unable to integrate the LCD screen co component and the overall watering components of the project together. Another issue that we're currently facing is that our project doesn't fully work. We believe that there's an issue that we've encountered when soldering different components are to this circuit board. The project is good, it does work, but the problem is with our soldering. It was working at one point, but we did And now it only works in very inconsistently. That has been the Plant Buddy Project. Yeah. Thank and you I'm, for listening. Yeah.